Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around. And before we get into any uh, shooting videos, I wanted to do a quick mail call for you guys. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you. Uh, several people have uh, joined the uh, channel membership uh, in the last couple days. Uh, in response, I'm assuming to my uh, giveaway announcement for the end of June. If uh, you're interested in that, uh, the join button is down below. Uh, you can join for as little as 99 cents, or you can join in uh, the Patreon uh, membership as well. And uh, those people will be uh, included with the giveaway at the end of the month as well. So, But uh, we have a couple of neat packages coming in. Uh, one of them is a tool for, for the filming. Uh, I actually went to do a video the other day testing out some new suppressors and stuff that I have uh, in the garage and my sound pressure meter stopped working so I uh, had to pick up another one so let's take a look at that first <clears throat> I have uh, another cool package from one of the uh, channel subscribers I think we're friends uh, his name's Ed I think we're friends on Facebook as well but uh, definitely is a long time viewer of the channels commented on a lot of videos and stuff but got a package coming in from from Amazon ordered this yesterday and it's here already so <clears throat> but we have a new little sound level meter uh, seemed to hit this one seemed to have pretty good reviews they did have a couple cheaper ones but uh, I want didn't want to get something that was just gonna fail right away but uh, so this one supposedly comes with batteries and stuff too so um, it does have a nice little carry bag with it <clears throat> Let's see what we got get in the bag here. Look like a pretty neat looking unit. So it does have a little little foam cover for the little windscreen for the microphone part of it. So there is what it looks like. Let's see what we gotta do to put some batteries in this guy. So it uses triple A's. My other one used a 9 volt battery. I did replace the 9 volt battery and it did not change anything. It powers up but it just reads 112 decibels all the time so I'm not sure exactly what happened there. It worked perfect the last time I used it on a video and I, I just had it on top of uh, I've got an extra um, extra tripod and I just have it attached to that all the time and it just it didn't fall over or anything, so I'm not sure what uh, what really happened with that. But let's see here. Let's get these batteries unwrapped here real quick. Do a little bit of rearranging out here in the garage. So got a little little different angle here. Here, the uh, other box uh, is like I said from a longtime channel viewer Ed. He uh, contacted me via my email, and if you, uh, if anybody ever needs to ask me a question or anything like that, my email is always down in the description of the videos. Uh, you can contact me about just about anything, <laughs> but. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, yeah. So, yeah, it's working. And it's holding max, so. But there you go, that is the, uh, I do like that little digital readout, pretty neat. Uh, it, it can go fast or slow. So you can have it, it has to have like an average of one second uh, peak for it to read on that. I'm sure with the uh, test on the air guns, we want to have it on. So anyway, that's from uh, Amazon, pretty cool. So now <clears throat> getting back to this one, this was from, again, Ed. Uh, he contacted me via my email 
and said, uh, I've got these two identical uh, air pistols, brake barrel air pistols, and he said that both of them have the same problem. They won't cock or they won't open after you cock them or something like that. Uh, so he asked me if I'd be willing to take a look at it. And uh, he said, uh, if you can fix, fix them both, uh, then I could keep one and send the other one back to him. Sound like a pretty fair deal to me, so <laughs> here they are. I think they're just the, uh, oh yeah, so these are the typical Chinese uh, little brake barrel air pistols. One of them says Wendy's on it. I don't know if that <laughs> has any significance, Ed, but of which one you would actually want to get back. So let's uh, open one of these up and see. So I think I, I actually have a very similar one of these uh, in my collection already, but mine has a plastic pistol grip on it. Not much to these boxes. Let me, uh... All right, so let's see here. He said once you cock them, I think you could not open the. So you can decock them. It has nothing to do with it being cocked. It's something to do with the uh, the barrel latch wedge there. Hmm. Interesting. So how do you get actually get it closed even once you decock it? Apparently he got them closed somehow. <laughs> but uh, anyway, well there's the the gun. If anybody has any uh, words of wisdom, seen this before, uh, I can see that the, uh, the little spring-loaded catch is sticking out pretty far there. Hmm. Anyway, well, there you go. That is... Uh, I don't know how to even get it closed even when it's not cocked. But I'll figure it out. <laughs> not with you guys on camera though. But uh, there you go. That is the, so those are the industry brand. Uh, definitely uh, very similar to the, uh, the one that I have that's got a, a plastic stock. I'll probably uh, pull that one out and uh, see if I can compare the two pieces together. Uh, side by side but uh, anyway uh, if you guys uh, <laughs> if you guys like this uh, kind of content uh, give me a shout and uh, maybe I can take care of your stuff too for you um, don't need to keep it or, or whatever but uh, it might be a lot of fun for us on the channel so hope you guys like the video till next time have a great day